an engineer has been given the task of specifying the foundation for a building. Okay, the process consists of evacuating a hole and placing a combination of two types of fill which is then compacted. The two types of fill are shell rock and crushed concrete. So there are two types of fill, one is shell rock and the other is uh, crushed concrete. So let me write it like this. So let's say, uh, let's say the amount of shell rock so S shell for shell rock, I'm say assigning the letter X, okay? And for crushed, crushed concrete, let's say that is Y. Okay, so this is a question on linear programming. In order to ensure there is stable foundation, the specification is subject to the following constraints. So these are the constraints. This is a very difficult sentence to understand. There must be no more than 1.5 times as much as volume of shell rock as crushed concrete. Now let me under, let me say x. So shell shell rock is x, and concrete is y. Okay. So what are we saying? The shell rock the volume of shell rock should not be more than 1.5 times of the concrete. So let's say if this is one unit, this should be less than equal to 1.5. Okay, if this is two, this should be less than equal to three and so on. So this is what we are saying is the same thing can be written also like this x should not be x should not be greater than 1.5 times of y this is what it means x is no x is which is a shell should not be more than 1.5 times of of crushed concrete now this means x should be less than or equal to 1.5 y Okay, now this is again difficult for some of you, so let me explain this. If say I say x is not greater than 5, so this has got two implications. Okay, so this means when you say x a number is not greater than 5, means well it can be equal to 5 or x can be or x should be less than 5. So same thing here, x is not greater than 1.5y means x should be less than 1.5y. Okay, the second constraint is the total quantity must be at least 22 uh, meter cube. So you can say the volume of shell rock plus the volume of crushed concrete should be greater than or equal to 22. Okay. And finally, the total mass of the foundation must be at least 44 tons. Okay, I hope you know one ton is 1000 kg. One ton is 1000 kg. So, this is 1,200 kgs, which is 1.2 tons, 1.2 ton, and uh, this is 2.2 tons, this is 2.2 tons. So whatever the quantity of shell rock, uh, so the shell rock weighs 1,200 kgs per meter cube. Okay, so this means this is 1.2 ton per meter cube. So we are finding so that this inequality, again the year the word is at least 44 tons. So here the equation would be 1.2 x plus 2.2 2.2 y should be greater than or equal to 44. 
okay I'll come back I'll make a next video to how to show you how you can graph this so I think you can graph this so on the so we have written the inequality so this is the first equality inequality this is the second one and this is the third one so this is the second and this is the third I'll come back and make a new video on how to graph this and solve this uh, linear programming problem.